my family. Now, a couple of years ago, we found out that Megan had made a sizable investment in Clever Blends Super Latte Coffee Company. And my family, at the time, it was just a startup. But now I can confirm to all of you that my family, the startup that Megan invested in, my family, it is growing and it is doing extremely well. Today, I can confirm to all of you that the startup, Clever Blends, that uh, Megan put her money in, now they are even selling Clever Blends coffee, super lattes, in my family Target. Even look at this short clip kindly, my family. You know, that is the CEO of the company, Hannah. And my family, as you can see, the team is happy to see their products, their coffee being sold at Clever Blends. They're super happy. My family, it is now, you can find it on Target stores. And they're happy. They're super happy. As you can see for yourself, they're happy to see this. They're so happy. So the investment that Megan made in Clever Blends continues to grow. And you know what? The people who want to destroy Megan have taken note of that. And today, the Daily Mail wrote a hit piece targeting Clever Blends. And my family, I want to read you the headline from the Daily Mail, whereby they are targeting Clever Blends. And over the past couple of days, we are seeing the smear campaign escalating. It's the attacks on Harry Meghan are drastically increasing. We tell me, we tell me two things. There is something that the royal family is hiding. Number two, UK media have no content and they feel deprived of content. And they want to get Harry Meghan to come out and my family attend an event, do something. That way, they have other things to speak about. If not, the UK media right now, clearly, they are clutching at straws. They are looking for everything, anything they can use just to get a click. And my family, now also, they have decided to target clever blends. My family, can you please hear this? A carnival of so-called expert called Chris White says that a trendy Meghan Markle-backed super latte company, Clever Blends, was targeted by serial filers who threatened legal action after claiming coffee contained lead. My family, now that is what, you know, Daily Mail is saying. And my family, I have looked at this piece, this latest hit piece targeting, you know, the company that Megan put her money in. And you know, the story leads to nothing. Yep, the story leads to nothing. I mean, let me even read you this before also I show you a video of Prince Harry explaining exactly what has been going on and what continues to happen to him and Megan. Why these attacks continue increasing by the media targeting Harry and Megan. My family, can you please, first of all, hear this? And I quote, The trendy coffee brand that Megan invested in was targeted by a group that issued a vile notice and threatened 
to take legal action over toxic chemicals allegedly found in its products. And Mega confirmed in December 2020 that she had invested an undisclosed sum in Clever Blends, a wellness coffee company which has a range of organic and gluten-free super lattes in powder form. And now, Daily Fail reveals that Clever Blends was legally threatened by Safe Products for Californians on August 24, 2021. Today, we are in 2024. Why did the Daily Mail wait so long to write this filth? My family, we are going to get to that. Continue hearing this, please. You know, so they were threatened by safe products for Californians under a law that allows private groups to warn customers of the presence of toxic chemicals found in consumer goods. And then two months later, the notice was withdrawn. My family. Two months later, the notice was withdrawn. So my family, if there's nothing, why come up with this nonsense? Why? Why come up with this nonsense? Because I can tell you, if they found something wrong, by now, every single tablet in the UK will be using that to attack Megan. But even after finding nothing wrong, still, they target Megan. Using lies to target the company that Megan put her money in. You know? And then they ask this question. So did the superlattes, superlattes ever contain toxic chemicals or were they removed based on an actual evidence? Both parties agreed to keep the reason confidential. You know? My family... In this case, the 60-day notice of violation stated that lead and lead compounds were found in clever products without any proper warnings. You know? And that the notice was served on the California Attorney General's office and all district attorneys in the state counties by SPFC's attorney. And my family, SPFC, as I've said, stands for Safe Products for Californians. You know? And my family, however, those documents showing the violation notice were withdrawn on October 2021, immediately. And in an email, it is said that my family, safe products for, for Californians and clever blends are both bound by a confidentiality agreement which covers all communications and any exchange of information between them. And that they can't comment as to why the notice was withdrawn. It was withdrawn because they found nothing. My family, you know, and also a legal person for Clever Blends said, and I quote, that product quality and safety is Clever Blends top priority. My family, if this story led to something that my family already, you would hear about it everywhere. A long, long time ago, back in 20. 21. So why? Why now? Why are the carnival of so-called experts writing for Daily Mail, writing these hit pieces targeting the company that Megan invested in, the company that Megan put her money in? 
and a company which I have shown you is growing. It is growing. It is doing so, so well. My family, I let Harry speak and remind us of exactly what he said in an interview with Stephen Colbert to remind us of exactly what is going on right now of what is being done to him and Megan by the British tabloid press who refuse to let Harry and Megan go who refuse to accept Harry and Megan's rejection and focus on the taxpayer funded royals they are left with back in the UK my family please kindly hear this yourself we were forced to leave we left in 2020 we moved out we fled my home country we moved to California and for 12 months during lockdown where we said literally nothing, nothing. it was relentless and that was that was a real eye-opener for me I never thought that we'd be away from it completely but I did think that we would get some form of peace but that's when I realized that actually our mere existence outside of that institutional control was more of a threat and you know this is similar our mere existence outside of that institutional control was more of a threat Harry is telling us Harry is reminding all of us and telling us the fact that the farm cannot control Harry and Meghan is what bothers them so, so much. That's why you see carnival of so-called experts saying to Prince Harry, 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 end your deals with Netflix. Harry, Harry, stop working a better up. Your father is here. He is ready to pay your bills. Because if Charles pays Harry's bills, it means UK media can have all the access they want to Harry and Meghan's kids, Archie and Lily Bedana, whereby they'll beat them versus George, Charlotte and Lewis. And they'll expect Harry and Meghan to hand over their kids to people who abuse them because Harry and Meghan are funded by Charles. By the taxpayer. UK media will have, you know, a right to make demands. And my family, Harry and Meghan, if they ought to be fed or clothed, will have to abide by those demands. It's about controlling Prince Harry and Meghan. It's always about finding a way to control the lives, the destinies, the futures of Harry, Meghan and their kids, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet Diana. William wants a scapegoat for his kids. And he wants Archie and Lilibet to be scapegoats for his children. And you can meet also want that. My family. And they want to mistreat Archie and Lilibet in the manner or way, the same way they have mistreated Megan. And I pray and hope that that never happens. You know, so my family, what we keep on seeing here is that every commercial venture that Harry and Meghan engage in is targeted by the British media with the full approval and consent of senior members of the royal family, of the farm. There is this misconception, this lie that the farm don't complain, don't explain that they're quiet about Harry and Meghan. My family, I can promise you, they have never ever been quiet when it comes to Harry and Meghan. Never! They have never been quiet when it comes to Harry and Meghan. They consistently breathe the British tabloid press. And when Harry and Meghan respond, they're like, you see, you see, Harry and Meghan are attacking the royal family. Yet Harry and Meghan are responding to these constant attacks waged against them, waged against their businesses waged against the commercial ventures you know and UK media need to leave Harry and Meghan alone let Harry and Meghan and their kids live in peace and Harry already said 
when he and Megan had left, they were quiet, not saying anything. But despite that, the attacks were increasing. It was constant. And even Harry in spear tells us, he tells us that he had to find a way to give us attacks to stop. And also we have learned from the byline times exclusive that my farm is the farm, meaning Charles and William had decided off on a press assault of Harry Meghan. They say it is either Harry Meghan are safely cast in a tent whereby they can be controlled or they are to be castigated, attacked constantly by a willing British tabloid press who are known for being extremely racist and xenophobic. And UK media have constantly attacked Megan, constantly demonized her and then said, you know what, Megan is never going to come back to the UK. I don't see her coming back. The people who bully and abuse her can't understand why Megan refuses to wine and dine or come back to the place where her abusers are located, where, the, where her abusers are based. Over the past couple of days also, ever since Prince Harry was announced to be honored with the Pat Tillman Memorial Award at the ESPYs, Ever since then, we have seen once again Wikimedia reach out and this is again also my family. We have seen Daily Mail's Colin Graham reach out to the late Pat Tillman's mother to look for a negative comment about Prince Harry. To attack him. Because they can't stand seeing Harry being honored. They can't stand Prince Harry and Meghan receiving the these amazing headlines. Whereby in the country where Harry and Meghan sought refuge, you know, too, Harry and Meghan are treated so well. Harry is being welcomed. Harry is being appreciated for his work. The farm can't accept it. And no wonder when they see or hear Prince Harry is being honored, UK media do everything in their power. To go after Prince Harry and even go after the people who are behind giving him uh, my family honor. Think that Harry doesn't deserve it. Yeah, my family, Harry has done so much for veterans, for the Invictus, you know, community. He has touched the lives of so many veterans. My family. But still is attacked. Why? Because he married a man of color. And uh, some racist individuals have never been able to accept that Prince Harry chose Meghan, that Prince Harry chose Archie over them. Remember when Meghan was back in the UK, you had some carnival of so-called experts writing headlines, saying, and I quote, Meghan, don't make Harry choose between you and us. A carnival of so-called experts thought for a second that Prince Harry would choose a tabloid that is abusive, would choose carnival of so-called experts who abuse and incite hatred towards him, towards Megan, towards Archie, over his own wife. They actually thought they had a chance. They actually thought they had a chance. That Prince Harry could even choose them. That Prince Harry could choose the tabloids over his wife. And Harry chose, all right, he chose. And he chose Megan and Archie. And ever since then, the abusers have never been able to accept his choice. And every day, we see tantrums being thrown by the abusers whenever they see Prince Harry respected, honored, his work recognized in the US. They can't stand it. And they keep on throwing tantrums over and over again, over and over again, over and over again, because they can't accept his rejection. You know? And they do this stuff. Attack Megan's income sources. And then they're like, you know, demanding for Megan to keep 
her mouth shut. You can me demanded that Harry Meghan don't talk about the royal family. You know what? Harry Meghan have been quiet. My family. But the tabloids refuse to leave Harry and especially Meghan alone. Meghan has moved on with her life. In fact, whenever she goes to the UK, she doesn't even leave the Windsor suit at Heathrow Airport. She does not step outside of Heathrow, of Heathrow Airport. The last time Meghan was even seen publicly in the UK was after the Queen's funeral, my family. The last time. And that is like two years ago. Meghan has never ever gone back, you know, to attend public, you know, engagements in the UK. Megan also has not uttered a word about the royal family. She has moved on with her life. But the abusers don't want to leave her alone. The abusers target Megan's income sources. And then they're like, Megan, don't you dare speak about the royal family. Megan, don't you dare use your titles to make money. My family. And it is, it's Megan who's her his wife. It is Megan who Prince Harry chose to be the mother of his children. And my family, by virtue of marriage, Meghan is the Duchess of Sussex. Some people just can't stand, you know, seeing or even knowing that Meghan is Harry's wife. That a woman of color is married to Prince Harry. They can't stand it. And they'll tell you it has nothing to do with race. But my family, these attacks... You keep on seeing, you know, Megan experiencing. Even targeting Archie, Lilibet. My family, it has everything to do with race. You know, it has everything to do with race. You know, when you go to a country that, in the case of Prince Harry, whereby you go to a country that uh, you are fled to, to protect your family and then you're treated so well there's no way you ever want to leave that right but Turkey media want to create a toxic environment for harry and megan in the u.s like they did to them in the uk and that's why you are seeing people who target harry are using the same talking points as the british media to smear harry he's controversial he's divisive my family how is Harry controversial? How is Harry divisive? That's coming from the UK media that make money from pitting brother versus brother, father versus brother, by pitting Meghan versus Kate Bolton. But they're telling you, Harry is divisive. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. And some people are so gullible that they repeat the same exact talking points of the UK media. You know? My family, it's so sad for me to see these constant attacks being waged against Harry Meghan. Because also I feel like UK media are desperate because they have no content. When it comes to Harry Meghan. When you see them looking for content from back in 2021. A story from back in 2021 that ends up being a non-story. That ends up having no outcome, my family. Nothing, basically. That yields nothing. That is a non-story. When you see them looking for something in 2021. To use now as a kind of ammunition or weapon against Meghan. You are reminded that indeed, UK media have nothing. They have nothing. And they're desperate for content. Desperate for content about Harry and Meghan. UK media need to stop grifting and using Meghan's name for profit. 
If they don't like Megan, as they claim they don't, then why can they leave her alone? Megan is minding her own business, working to put food on the table for her family. They say, Megan, don't talk about the royal family. Don't talk about your experiences there. Don't use what happened to you to make money for yourself. Megan is done with that. She told her story. What happened to her? She's moved on. Have the UK media, the abusers moved on. They refuse to move on. And the firm refuses to command or order UK media to back off Harry Megan. This year, they were bullying a little bit of her name. Just this year. Again, this year, earlier this year, that's what the firm was doing. You know, and palace sources were saying that, you know what, we are afraid that we might provoke Prince Harry into writing another book. And I feel like UK media also want Harry to write another book. That way they have content because they are desperate. They are desperate, extremely desperate. These attacks show a level of desperation and also clearly they are hiding something in the royal family. You know? William and Kate are too lazy. And they don't sell papers, my family. So, of course, only Han Megan sell papers. You put Megan's name, people will be interested. And that's why even when a story has nothing to do with Prince Harry, UK Media will put Harry's, you know, picture on the profile. On my family, their thumbnail. They'll do that because they know who sells papers. And the same ones who do that will be like, Harry and Meghan, don't make money in the US. Stop making money. Stop earning a living. Even a few weeks ago, I was reading you, a few days ago, I was reading you the words of Carnival of so-called expert Christopher Anderson, who was saying, for as long as Harry and Meghan keep on, you know, engaging in commercial ventures, there's no way they'll ever heal the little Charles and William and Kate. It's all about trying to control Harry and Meghan. Controlling them. Because my family, Harry and Meghan, are thriving in the United States of America. You know, any other normal media outlet will simply report Prince Harry is to be honored with the late Pat Tillman Memorial Award. Thanks to his work with the Invictus Games. And after that, move on to another story. But Daily Mail will look for somebody's mother, as they have with the late Patiman's mother, to use her in, as a weapon in their ongoing smear campaign against Harry. Because they can't stand seeing Harry thriving. They can't stand seeing Harry being appreciated in the United States of America. A country fled to to protect Meghan, Archie, David, but they can't stand seeing Harry being shown enormous respect. They can't stand seeing Harry and Meghan being shown enormous respect. My family. And my family as a human being, I support Harry, I support Meghan. I support them 100%. I support Harry and Meghan 100% and my family, I am with them always and forever. Always and forever. And we are going to keep on condemning this mere campaign and hate campaign targeting Meghan and Harry. I mean, you've told Meghan to move on. She's moved on. You have a problem with her moving on. Which tells you, UK Media don't want Meghan to move on. They want Megan and Harry stuck in the past. And no wonder they keep on attacking even commercial ventures. The Megan, my family, that enable Megan to earn a living to pay her bills. You know? Because Megan does have a right to earn a living to pay her own bills. She doesn't leech off of the taxpayer in Britain. Charles said there's no money for Megan. Megan is working to put to pay for her bills. He's moved on with her life. Why can't the abusers move on? Why can't the abusers accept her rejection and just move on and leave her alone and stop targeting 
Megan's income sources. Stop targeting Megan's commercial ventures, even American Rivera Orchard. Before it has even my family been released to the public, been with products being sold, my family. Before, before that even happens, before that even happens, already we've seen Megan's lifestyle brand being targeted by the UK media. You know? Who clearly just want to see Harry and Meghan failing. Hoping that if that happens, you will see Harry coming back to the UK with a tail between his legs. As UK media promised their readers he would. And because that, that ain't happening. And hasn't happened yet. You see the attacks continue. My family, I want to tell them. I want to tell even Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan, keep working. Please keep working. Don't let them distract you. Don't let them distract you. I feel like they also want to distract Harry and Meghan. They want to distract Harry and Meghan. These attacks are a distraction. To keep Harry and Meghan not focusing on their work, but focusing on these attacks. Harry and Meghan, focus on your work. Harry and Meghan, focus on your business. Focus on that. You know? UK Media, don't want you to focus. So please, Harry and Meghan, focus on your work. Focus on your business. Focus on that. Pay attention to that. Pay maximum attention to your love for each other, your family, you know, Meghan, Archie, Prince Harry, little bit. Focus on that. And focus on your business. Harry, increase. Your sources of your income. Harry, increase your sources of income. Continue with more and more commercial ventures. Engage in more and more commercial ventures. Because clearly, UK media are terrified of seeing you making more money than you already have made. And you know what? If that is what UK media are terrified of, then that's what Harry and Meghan need to keep on doing. Because we have seen how, for example, Luki Media are, have been yearning to gain access to Archie and Lily Betan. You're only able to gain access to them. That's if Harry and Meghan are funded by the taxpayer. Then Harry and Meghan will be forced to give out pictures of their kids to the Daily Mail. Like what Meghan said in the Cut Magazine interview. Whereby she said, in the royal family, before you even post a picture of your child, you have to hand over a picture of your child to a tabloid. Same people who abuse you. Same people who bullied you throughout your pregnancy. And Megan said, why would I give a photo of my son to those who call him the N-word rather than share a photo of my son with those who actually love him? Megan's own words. You know? And my family, when you think about that, when you think about what, you know, Megan has said, what Megan, my family is, you know, saying, you understand so much. You understand why you came in the push even for Prince Harry to drop all his commercial ventures. It's about trying to control them both and not just them, also their kids. It's about ensuring that Archie and Lily Bedana are photographed close to George, Lewis, and Charlotte. That way, UK Media can beat George versus Archie, Charlotte versus Lily Bed. And you think they're going to treat Harry and Meghan's kids well? They won't. I have been saying this for a long time. UK Media have no intentions of treating Harry and Meghan's kids with respect and dignity. You want to talk about who exactly is a divisive figure. My family, the British tabloid press are divisive figures. And they have played a huge part in creating drama in the royal family. While expecting, never complain, never explain. UK Media, 
as the ones who have fanned the flames of William's jealousy towards Harry and Meghan. My family. UK media themselves have allowed themselves to be used to smear and attack Meghan and Harry. They've allowed themselves to be used as a weapon against Harry and Meghan. And they wonder why Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with them. When they hear Harry saying, you know, I don't want Daily Mail to be in this venue as I play polo. When they hear Harry saying, only media outlets possibly approved by Prince Harry are allowed to cover this event. They are bitter because they are the ones who feel they have rights or even own Harry. That they own even his kids. My family, I want to tell them this. They don't own Archie, Lilibet, or Harry, or Meghan. And they need to be content with what they have in the UK. They need to be content with William. They need to be content with Charles. They need to be content with Camilla. They need to be content with what they have left in the UK. With their slim the monarchy. They are proving up. And leave Harry and Meghan alone. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Stop targeting Meghan's commercial ventures. Stop targeting Meghan's income sources. And then you demand, Meghan, don't talk about the royal family. How do you expect her to earn a living? You have Charles saying, Meghan, there's no money for you. You have UK media not even wanting Harry Meghan to renovate a cottage that did not even belong to them, my family. That was property with the Queen. They had an issue with that. I remember articles being written by the UK media saying, for example, I remember it was Daily Express who said taxpayers don't want to foot the bill for Meghan and Harry's new baby. I remember that very well. It was Daily Express. They were doing polls asking if the public wants to fund Meghan and her unborn child and also Prince Andrew. I remember that very well. I remember that very well from Daily Express. You don't fund her at all. You don't fund Archie. You don't fund Lilibet and UK media appear to have a problem with even that. They appear to have a problem with even that. And that's why they're targeting their income sources. You know? They want her Meghan to be abused. And keep quiet as the poor who abuse them make a fortune off of them. And, and it's wrong. It's wrong. It's despicable. It's disgusting. You know? And it is so wrong that Prince Harry Meghan as the subject of a miss and disinformation campaign, smear campaign, which started in the UK, approved by William and Charles and Keith and Camilla because he decided to step back as a senior member of the royal family to protect his family, Megan and Archie, who are being abused by the British media. You know? Harry said he was being punished for protecting his family. And indeed, he is being punished for protecting his family. And that's why the family took away his security to punish him and even scare him into coming back to the UK, into being controlled by Charles and William. My family, look at me, they don't want Harry Meghan to make money. They want them broke. They want them as an example to other members of the royal family. That you can't leave the royal fault and succeed outside of the institution. Because if members of the royal family believe that they can succeed outside of the royal fault, outside of the institution, then my family, what's the need of having the royal rota? What's the need of having royal experts covering me? UK media are out to save their own jobs by trying to make an example out of Harry Meghan. By targeting the income sources. But they support their work, their businesses, my family, and I pray that Harry and Meghan keep on succeeding, and that this mega pain keeps on failing. My family, Harry and Meghan have been to so much, through so much, and when I see them targeting Harry and Meghan's income sources, I feel angry. I feel pissed off. I feel upset. It angers me.
It angers me so much to see them attacking Harry and Meghan. And my family, you know, these are just more arguments for Harry and Meghan to maintain focus, keep working, and keep paying their own bills. And never ever, you know, allow themselves to be at the mercy of William and Charles for money. Never. My family, I believe I have said enough. You tell me kindly if you're also about what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bedana and Dorian Franklin. And all of you members, the squad I told me it never wins, love wins, and stay tuned on this video. Love was a forever and may God bless each and every single one of you. And may no weapon from the Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bedana ever prosper. My family, stay tuned on this video. Love you also forever. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zosko Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.